Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than two minutes. Simple, fast, and fun. Today, we're talking about thymosin alpha-1, or TA-1, and its potential benefits. All this and more in less than two minutes. Before we get into what TA-1 is and does, we need to talk about the thymus gland. Your thymus gland is a small gland located in the upper chest behind your breastbone in the lymphatic system. It makes special white blood cells called T-cells. There are two types of T-cells, killer T-cells and helper T-cells. Both help your immune system fight disease and infection. Killer T-cells destroy cancerous cells and cells infected with viruses. Helper T-cells work with the other cells of the immune system to make an immune response. So what exactly is thymosin alpha-1? TA1 is a peptide that's produced naturally by the thymus gland. As we age, our thymus gland shrinks, and this affects the production of TA1. In our bodies, TA1 is what is known as a natural senolytic, meaning it induces the death of aging cells our thymus makes. When we take TA1 as peptide therapy, it works by mimicking the body's natural release of TA1 in the thymus gland, which stimulates the production of T cells. It also decreases the production of a type of certain proteins called cytokines that can cause chronic inflammatory or immune responses in some people. Studies have shown that people fighting infection have a lower amount of circulating TA1 compared to healthy people. So what exactly are the benefits? TA1 is used for clinical conditions where immune support is needed. Zadaxin is a TA1 peptide that's been evaluated and approved in 30 countries for the treatment of hepatitis B and C, HIV, and AIDS. It's also being used alongside with chemotherapy for certain lung, liver, and skin cancer patients and is used in people with DeGeorge syndrome. Currently, the medication is in phase three trials for the treatment of hepatitis C and phase two trials for hepatitis B in the United States. As a fun fact, it does have an orphan drug approval by the FDA for several indications. Orphan drugs are medications approved by the FDA for rare conditions that affect fewer than 200,000 people in the United States. TA1 also has shown promising results in the treatment of Lyme disease. So how do I take TA1? Compared to the other peptides, TA1 has a longer half-life of two hours, which requires fewer peptide injections. The peptide injection is subcutaneous, which is injected into the fatty tissue once every third day. For viral infections, treatments usually last for two weeks. But depending on what you're treating and how serious your infection is, treatments could last three months or more. Possible side effects include redness, itching, or swelling at the injection site. Rare cases of increases in liver enzymes have happened. If you do have signs of liver injury, meaning nausea, vomiting, yellowing of the skin or eyes, or even stomach pain, you should tell your healthcare provider right away. As always, you should always tell your healthcare provider about any side effects you experience. You can find more information at peptides.com, that's peptides without the D, where we're tying all the peptide information together in one easy place for you to understand. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. If you love this Peptide Podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and subscribe to our podcast and have a happy, healthy week.